Oswestry School is a non-selective school and so consequently we have children coming in with a wide variety of abilities, right from the most able children down to children that we have with statements with quite significant needs all of which we cater for here. We've got a very high focus on developing literacy strategies within the school because literacy strategies are underpinning almost all the areas of the curriculum. And by getting these right, we're enabling children of all abilities to perform to the highest level in these subjects. We wanted to find a resource which we could support all of our pupils, not just those that are learning support. We came across Read and Write with one of our SEND teachers who had come across it on the internet and asked me to set up a trial for them. So we ran through that and he was really impressed with all the features and everything. As part of our approach, obviously the Read and Write software programme um, massively underpins what we're saying in terms of it being accessible to all and supporting all. And so the, the Read Write resource, which is used primarily by our learning support pupils and is a significant focus of the work with the learning support teachers, is also used by the wider community of pupils and staff and parents. Um, so that it's become a, embedded in the whole school operation and it's a resource that everybody can turn, in, to, turn to as, as they need. It's very useful when you're writing stories or trying to understand something but you can't quite understand the word and how it fits, you can play read write and it will read it to you and then you can understand it more because you're just listening. It's very advantageous for students if you want them to read that text and understand it. If they struggle with that sort of task, the, the text to speech facilities make it a lot easier for them to get a sense of that. You read and write which helps me a lot in lessons and especially in homeworks when I don't really have a teacher on hand to help who understands the subject. You can get a ruler on there so it underlines it for you and so you know where you are and you don't lose your place. Read and write has been reading the text and then we've been answering the questions pen to paper and I found it very helpful with um, the work that we've been doing. What I've decided we were going to do was um, introduce it to those pupils with SEND and then use them as uh, kind of digital champions, if you like, to propagate it to the rest of the pupils. And within about a minute and a half, um, the, the two pupils that I'd introduced it to had discovered how to change the pitch of the voice, the speed of the reading, the colour of the highlights and so on. So it was a really, really quick process. As we're rolling the programme out, we're finding children, not just the children with learning difficulties, but other children are saying, wow, that's a great product, I think I could use that. That's going to help me doing my research. That's going to help me um, access uh, this particularly difficult text where I can now understand it at ease. The programme, even without us pushing it, is naturally rolling itself through the school. I think with buying into this programme, it's enabled us to unify the parents, the children, the staff, all under the, um, the, same, the same movement towards supporting the children. The Read and Write software provides just a, another strand of support provided to our pupils, where they can take it anywhere, at home, in school, with their parents. It is, it is a fantastic opportunity. Its portability, its flexibility means that uh, they can continue to be comfortable and familiar with this technology throughout the, all their different subjects and ways of working. One of the other great things as well is that it's you know, one package, everything's all in one place. So we're not buying in lots and lots of different programmes, but you can have access to so many different packages and tools. If we don't provide for our children in terms of keeping them up with what is going on, we would be doing them a massive disservice. We need to be equipping these children for the future that lies ahead of them. And it will become part of their lives to be reading on screen, to be hearing things, to be inputting text at speed by dictation and organising, you know, research. Everything is going to be done in that format. I just think this programme is giving them the, the, um, the lift up to get ahead of the game. So here in, here in Oswestry School as well, as I was saying, we have such a range of children with different needs. Some of those children are self-driven anyway, motivated to learn and to strive and succeed in spite of their difficulties. 
but there are always going to be those group of children who the difficulties will become massive barriers to their future and we work really hard to break those barriers down all the time. This particular program is smashing those barriers down and these children are going to go on and succeed more so than they could ever do without it.